Alright, so you can pretty much tell that I enjoy building for Element much more than I do than Raw. This isn't me saying that Element is always the answer or strongest option. I enjoy theory crafting builds and trying different things out altogether, but if I have even the slightest window of opportunity to build towards Element, I do. I have three builds here, a 5 piece Safi build, a 3 piece Safi build, and then the other is another five piece build, but for the fire dual blades, because it's a little bit unique. Dual blades can absolutely wreck when it comes to element. You shred through parts and trip constantly. But let's go ahead and jump into the first build. With the first set, we'll be rocking the five piece Safi to get the ridiculously awesome benefits that come along with it. Our weapon of choice for this one will be the Dragon Kiara Blades. The best part of using the Dragon Blades is the fact that it has an absolutely insane 20% affinity off the rip and that's going to give us an extra opportunity for more element in the long run. It also lends well to what we're going to be going for in this build. The Kiara weapons have that built-in crit element, so let's go ahead and take full advantage of that. We take that 20% affinity from our weapon, the 40% from the 5 p Safi bonus, and round it out with a max crit eye to give us that full 100% affinity on every single slash we land. Of course you're going to want to max out your preferred element to really push your damage to its max and take advantage of crit element. And then finally, you want crit boost maxed out to improve that aforementioned crit damage we'll be doing 100% of the time. Health boost because, yet again, duh. Protective polish is something that by all means is not absolutely required, but it's what I would highly, highly recommend because we're dealing with another weapon that goes through sharpness pretty quick. So at this point, we go outside of the absolute core of the build and where you can really make it your own at this point. Myself, I went with Marathon Runner so we can get much more time in our demon mode. You know how obsessed I am with the evade extender but this time I promise it's primarily because they're pretty much the best available expert combo decos that I have. In saying that, Evade Extender is fun with dual blades in demon mode, so enjoy. Lastly, we come to the Evasion Plus deco. We already get three levels of Evade Window with Safi 5 piece set, so why not take that to a level where we'll actually get some solid benefit from? Plus, dashing through an attack is everything I never knew I needed. Now with this build, using the Dragon Blades, I went with a Health Augment because I'm not the greatest of dual blade players, and I like to counter the Safi set damage with this. And then after that health augment, we throw on two element augments to round it out. We're able to do this so easily thanks to that 20% base affinity of the Dragon Blades. In terms of the other elements, you're going to have to get crafty with how you get to that last 5%, whether that's through custom augments, attack boost, or agitator which will hold true in the three-piece build as well. Now when it comes to the three-piece set, right off the bat we're going to be sacrificing some element since we get less of a boost from the three-piece Safi set bonus. But that doesn't mean we still can't put together a solid build because in return we get a maxed out agitator. We still have the core of crit eye, crit boost, and our respective element maxed out. You'll notice we have a maxed out agitator on this one. We're going to need that to help us reach 100% affinity. So now we'll be able to reach that 100% universal affinity, but only when we have the monster enraged, which of course we can do easily now in Iceborne. And not only do we get that final needed 20% affinity, we also get a nice boost to our attack. Protective Polish also sticks around and still has great importance in my opinion. Marathon Runner is still on this one to extend the amount of time we have in demon mode, but if if that's not your cup of tea, you can very easily scrap that and go with something else that better fits your playstyle or whatever you had in mind. For the other elements, you could take out Marathon Runner altogether and throw an attack boost 4 to get that last 5% of needed affinity, or you can go through custom augments. Now we circle back around to the 5 piece set with probably the biggest outlier or most unique of the QR blades, the Rage or Fire Dual Blades. Now the core components and reasoning behind what skills or wear are pretty much identical to the other 5 piece set, but you'll notice that we don't have protective polish. Instead we have Mind's Eye because the Fire Dual Blades don't actually have white sharpness at all. Instead it has a very large amount of blue sharpness so it'll bounce off of pretty much everything if we don't have that Mind's Eye slotted in. This can be looked as a negative, but the fact that the Rage Blades have a higher raw attack, it helps them keep pace with the rest of the crowd.
crowd. They actually have the potential to be the most damaging of the group, but the way we're going to go about things will see us have that guaranteed 100% affinity and still have solid damage. To do this, we'll be sacrificing some elements. So the difference will be that we are going to go ahead and go with the one health augment, one affinity augment, and one element augment route with a single level of agitator to get us that last 5% affinity. This basically puts us in the same position as the Dragon Dole Blades, being able to sit at 20% base affinity and finish out that last 80% with a max crit eye and the Safi 5P set bonus. It sounds like it was a lot to sacrifice to get that universal 100%, but I can promise you these blades will still hit like a truck, and I really enjoy that comfort of having 100% affinity on every slash that lands. But that's going to be it for this one. The QR weapons making their MR debut really has changed the elemental viability for a lot of weapons. The dual blades are so quick and profit greatly from that crit element. Patreon and Discord information will be in the description, so feel free to join our Discord community. If you liked the video, let me know with that thumbs up. Comment below what you like and maybe don't like about dual blades or element builds in general. Subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already for more Iceborne, Monster Hunter, and other gaming content. Have a good night, and happy hunting.